talk to us about your first time like meeting Cole. I think my first time meeting him was um I was 15, 15 years old, 16 years old at the Kobe camp. That's when he had, you know, remember when everybody had their own little camp. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it's been a picture that, that's that been floating out there when we was at his camp and I was sitting front row. Mm-hmm. And it was like, you see Clay in the second row, but we was like literally like locked in to everything he was saying. Mm-hmm. And from that moment, like being at his camp, I didn't realize he knew who, who I was. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it started by a little conversation, do this, do this. Next thing you know, it's, I'm hooping. I'm having this open run. Come to this. Next thing, it it, it turns into like, yo, I'm in the gym. Let's do this. You need to do this. You know what I mean? It started to slowly turn into a whole different type of relationship that was just came from the respect of me just, you know, being an athlete, really paying attention to everything he said. And, Mm -hmm. you know, by the time I was senior in high school, next thing you know, you know, I'm I'm getting his shoes personally Mm -hmm. and giving me his shoes, like, you know, playing these. Next thing you know, I'm going to SC, and it's like, yo, I'm going to sponsor y'all to to wear Kobe's. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I remember you made a special Kobe 4s for us to wear. You know what I mean? It's like it started from then. That's you dope. know, just the respect of me just paying attention to him, asking him questions, whatever I needed. He was always there no matter what it was. You know what I mean? And it, it all started from high school, and it just carried on after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I mean, a lot of people, like, even the reason I wore 10 – was because of the Olympic coat. Olympic coat. Okay. That was why I wore number ten. Okay. You know what I mean? And I I remember telling him that. Like, you know, I'm gonna wear number ten. You know, everybody was wearing eight or twenty four. Right. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear ten. That was my Olympic number. Uh, his Olympic number. I didn't that's know why, that. Yeah. I'm, that's why I, I wore ten, bro. I'm thinking it was just cause like and it made perfect sense. Nah. Comp ten. Nah, yeah. You wear ten. <laughs> I flipped it to yeah. that. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. But it really stemmed from cold, you know, Olympic number. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, that's deep. I learned something new on that. Uh, that's deep. P always telling us how he got uh, elbowed by Kobe. What's one of your uh, vivid memories playing against Kobe? So my whole career, I always wore Kobe's. And I remember it was it was a time I played against Vince Carter earlier in my career. And he was like, man, you you wear those when you play versus Kobe? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, I'm like, Fucking, I ain't wearing them next time I'm play Kobe. Yeah. Just, you know what I mean? He ain't about to have no mental edge on me. So I remember wearing some Jordan 10s. We walked out on the court. He looked at me and said, the fuck you got on your feet? <laughs> I said, he just shook his head at me. End up killing us. Right? <laughs> Sorry, you can the look this shit up. You, yeah. your feet. you can look it up. You can look it up, bro. He ended up tearing our ass up. I remember he had the game winning shot, but before the game winning shot, I think we just hit a shot, put us up by one. They called a timeout. He walked past and said, you know, you know y'all left me too much time, right? <laughs> Came out, hit the game with a shot. Swear to God, hit the game with a shot. Walking off the court, he said, yeah, don't wear them shits ever again. <laughs> I've never put on a pair of Jordans again. And again. That's, that's dope. Oh, that's so you dope. Ain't never played, never played, in, played, played in Jordan Never played in year. another pair of Jordans again. <laughs> wow. True story. You looking up. You playing Kobe's? That's all I wear. Right now? Oh, okay. yeah. That's all I wear. But it was a relationship and a respect from Kobe to where he started to, you know, give me the opportunity to be able to wear and design my own PEs. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and that just started from the respect and, and the love and, the, um, you know, our relationship. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, like I said. I That's so dope. Yeah. All, the, yeah. all the NBA players that wear Kobe shoes, yeah. like they make sure like uh, – of uh, uh Devin book. book, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's it's more way more, but I, yeah. I like that. that yeah, they do it was that. so dope. You know what I mean? And it was it was a respect thing that he he had too, where he started because it was it started with like five of us was able to do the whole Kobe thing. You know what I mean? And and you know you just see it start expanding more just mm-hmm. with the respect of you know guys looking up to him. Mm-hmm. Did Kobe ever teach you a special move? Footwork. He just always taught me how to pay attention to details when it comes to footwork. You know, he was always adamant on me about everything to do with footwork. And it's so crazy because even when I used to ask him a question, he used to take offense to it, right? Like, what the fuck you mean? You ain't figured it out yet? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it got to a point where, like, man, let me make sure I I master this shit first before I ask him anything else. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? But the footwork thing all came from him without doubt. Yeah, I got a a crazy Kobe story Uh, when we was playing Portland in the playoffs. And I had just had my shoulders op- or or not operated yet. I had just had my shoulders 
uh, I had got shot up to play because, you know, both my shoulders was fucked up. So I wasn't playing for like, you know, a week or two before the playoffs started just to, to let the medicine, you know, start to work and shit like that. But I'm like, I'm nervous going into the series because I ain't played basketball in two weeks and now we about to start the playoffs. So I sent Kobe uh, a, a bunch of edits um, on like, and, and no, I actually think we played a couple games. So I sent them some of the edits from the Portland game and he hit me back like, hold on, I'm in the movies with my daughter. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a watch these clips and I'm gonna get back to you. So I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, no way this nigga gonna get back to me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> sure enough, bro, like three hours later, he, he, he gets back to me and like literally a paragraph detailed out on what I need to do. When they come for the double, do this. Always look at the big, like follow the big man. Play a little, like he was going down in mm -hmm. details on yeah. all the shit I should do. I still got the-, the I am about to say, do you still got I still got to save, Make absolutely. Make sure that, monkey. Absolutely. <laughs> and so I go into the game and that was all that was on my mind, the shit that he was telling me to do. Bro, sure enough, the game was just easy. Like mm -hmm. wow. the game, I, no bullshit, the game was easy. I was seeing the defense. I'm getting to my spots. I'm I'm reading where the big is coming. Like everything that I was telling him I was having trouble with, the game was just like this now. And uh like it it just for me, I had gotten to that point finally. Like you had the relationship, you know, early on. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I was that's where I was going towards with right, the relationship right. with Kobe. I was, you know, starting to, you know, uh he invited me to, you know, his, you know, camp that he was doing in the summers. Um and it was just a, a, you know, a relationship we were starting to have through text, through talk, on the phone. Like, he was starting to take me in. And, you know, I say that to say, you know, it sucked to to have that short yeah. and, you know, not not be able to, to you know, have him yeah. as a resource again. But, yeah, shout out shout out to the Bean, man. The Bean. Yeah, sure. Speaking yeah. of the Bean, and we're going to keep it on the Bean right now, something that people probably don't know about you. They say you one of the, the biggest – Kobe sneaker collectors. That's what I want to know. I want to know if you still collecting and who's your challenger. You know, it's crazy. I, it's it's not even a collector. It's like I I I am the 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 Oh, Kobe you are Kobe brand. the guy like, now. Because it's more so like it's no one has more Kobe's than me. I know that for a fact. At all. No question. Like can, hands I, down. Hands down. I can assure you nobody in the league has more Kobe's than me. Not even oh. Can I ask how? <laughs> Because it, it, it you come out with some shit, and I'm like, how the f where listen, where he get these? Listen, it, it, <laughs> first first it started like when they was able to give me my my own PE and, mm -hmm. and allow me to you know design certain PEs like, mm -hmm. and it just translate over to where like I have to be the first one to get these amount of Kobe's every time. Mm -hmm. It was the first one. It was the first one because people don't know. Remember the last couple of years. Kobe was always hurt, mm -hmm. so he never could be the one to, you know, display the shoe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when it, when the high top nines came out, I was the first one to, to wear them. I was the first one. Wow, you displayed to, his shoe I for dis, him. I, I was the first one with a, with a lot of the Kobe's because mm -hmm. he was either hurt or, you know, they didn't make the playoffs. So I was a lot of I was the first ones wearing a lot of the release ones. Wow. So it kind of just started from there of just Nike just making sure I just had whatever was going to come out later down the line, I had them first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it just turned over to like, all right, how you want your colorways? You know what I mean? All right. Mm -hmm. I, I asked my daughters, would, would, how you, what's your favorite cartoon? All right, make them like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It just wow. it just kept going and kept going and kept going to where it's like, you know, I, the last two years, you know how many guys and said and asked me for Kobe's? I was yeah. just about to ask you, do you give was, them away when you're done? Like, I, I used to give guys, like, you know, if I'm close to you, I get I give you shoes and all that. But this was before they had renewed the Kobe deal. I didn't know if it was ever going to come back. So I was like, nah, <laughs> I'm going to stop, gonna stop, giving, them, yeah. gonna stop <laughs> giving them out because I used to give them out so much. Right. And I just wasn't sure the brand was going to come back. So I was just like, man, I'm going to just sit on these. But... I just, bro, I got so many of just shoes on. Yeah. Do D Book ever ask you about your shoes? Nah, because D Book got his own. He got his, his own little connect. He got his own little uh, colorways. He got his own. Yeah. He got his own. You know what I mean? That's what's dope. what's your what's your your favorite? The um, favorite ones to hoop in. My favorite ones to hoop in. 
Probably the ones, the Kobe ones. Yeah, because yeah. I see you wear those a lot. Yeah, the Kobe ones, the most, most, they're my favorite ones, the, the hoop man. Jackie, did you see what Meek Mill posted the other day? Nah, Dallas, I'm in playoff mode right now. I ain't got time for none of that stuff. But anyway, what did he post? He put in a crazy $10,000 entry on Steph Curry, Kyle Lowry, and LeBron using prize picks. <laughs> that means he watching our show. <laughs> He watching that Troy trying to be like me. <laughs> That's what he's trying to do. But wait, 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 wait. People don't even know what we're talking about right now. I was like, I got to calm down. Tell them what Prize Picks is all about. <sighs> Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players like the video on your screen, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projection. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. We know how much meat won. But tell the people how much they can win. (laughs) So you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code PODCASTP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, Prize Picks is going to give you $20. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks is going to give you $100. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! 